It's always amazing to me how excited we get when we have everything loaded on the four-wheelers or snow machine. The doors are locked on our vehicles and we finally reach the trail. As usual, Denali doesn't disappoint. She always seems to be waiting eagerly for us, almost showing off. It's funny how encouraging it is and how giddy and silly we get. We always yell out, thank you, God. All the fall leaves feel so warm and so inviting and they provide us a sense of coziness. It's so inspiring and relaxing all at the same time. Cabin life is not all comfortable and easy. From the moment you get to the cabin, you're doing chores just so you can exist. Starting a fire, which requires finding wood, chopping wood, stacking wood. Unless you bring water with you, a simple quenching of your thirst requires you going to the spring and hauling water back up. Now we're going to go back to the spring and we're going to fill up these two five gallon jugs and that should take care of the water supply for the whole weekend. So today, Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday morning and for lunch with dishes and everything. So let's head down there. So let's see how long it takes to fill up say four gallons, we're gonna call it four gallons. Alaska summers are so short. We were just hatching chicks, making safe spaces for baby bunnies, planning our garden beds, our flying and road trips, slapping mosquitoes, and trying to take in every last minute of summer. Just like that, it's fall. So that was that was less than a minute. Forty-five seconds. Forty-five seconds. Okay. It's amazing having having a a spring like this. And it runs pretty much year round. And uh, yeah, it, winter time, summer time. Year round, we got water coming out of this hill. It's clear. We sometimes filter it a little bit, but generally, you don't really have to. It comes straight out of a out of a hill, so it's fantastic water. When I'll be coming home, I plan to let you know the longing of my heart. Wish I carry high. Eight gallons of water in a minute and a half. <laughs> so. It takes me through the night. And I look deep into your eyes. When I look deep into your eyes. This weekend, where we're hoping to have downtime. Our life, the small and humble, has a lot of distractions from each other and our own thoughts. Getting into nature and the quiet of the cabin life seems like it cannot come soon enough. When I'll be coming home
We did get to take an amazing walk in the brisk autumn and just that small connection with nature seemed to refuel both of our batteries. Why don't we do this more often when we're at our home in the valley? Maybe we should. Being recharged motivated Ollie to start another project. Small, but another step closer to our goal. All right, so here's the big moment. We decided, I know we said we were not working this weekend, but we're getting so excited because there is a possibility the Northern Lights are out tonight and we don't have a way to get out on our balcony except crawling through the window, which is kind of tight or we have to go downstairs, climb the ladder up onto the balcony. So we came up with the uh, solution here and we're gonna cut a section out at least, big enough for us to go out onto the deck underneath the window and then we'll put a couple hinges on a, on a piece of plywood so we can kind of go in and out tonight. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna cut the hole and see what it looks like. I'm gonna put some trim around and then stain it. And, uh, and then eventually we'll either, you know, decide to take the window out all the way and put a full door in there, or maybe just leave this little trap door in the bottom so we can get onto our little balcony and overlook the lake.
quite cold this morning, but it sure is really pretty. So I'm gonna head down to the lake, hang out there for a little bit. changed our plan just a little bit and uh, we're going to move the logs and the foundation blocks for the sauna up here in this little area. It's a little more elevated, closer to the cabin, so we can bring firewood from the cabin over to the sauna. We got our uh, outhouse right here and the trail connection, so it's a lot easier if we put it right here. And makes it a little more convenient also in the wintertime when there's deep snow, we only have to shovel a few feet so I think that's gonna work way better so I'm just gonna before we head back to whistle I'm gonna bring all the foundation blocks up here and see if I can set it up just a little bit so the frost's not gonna be an issue and also when we come back we can continue laying the logs so that's what I'm gonna do here in a few minutes and another big reason we uh, decided to bring the foundation up here for the sauna is definitely the view we're talking about eight more feet in elevation and today we can have a, we've got a really nice view of McKinley or Denali. So we'll bring these logs up here and work in the foundation a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I got one center block over here. I'm gonna put the second one just about right here where that little root is. So it's an old one, so it shouldn't be too hard to remove. And then we get a pretty much uh, straight run clear down here and that'll do. So let's see what I can do with this root here. Okay, so I got all the center blocks in the ground, backfill them a little bit and now I'm gonna grab this log, set it up sideways and then I need one more for over here and uh, but at least the foundation blocks are in so if it gets colder and the ground is all solid froze it's all taken care of so we got all winter long to work on this on us so I'm gonna set this log here right now. temporarily and then the next time we come out here I can work on leveling it out put some blocks underneath and then we have a, a good solid foundation and that we can start the floor and work our way up with the logs
funny. The more time we're out there, we've come to realize that it's the hard work, the routine chores, the gratification of accomplishing things, even simple things, that make being at the cabin so restful. It's not for everyone, but it is for us.